here we are again looking at some all natural chemical free uh, home products that you can make with easy to find ingredients at your house at the grocery store um, all natural food store the next one we're gonna look at is baby powder I like to use baby powder in the summer just gives you a clean dry fresh feeling um, Two ingredients you can use, cornstarch and baking soda. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the half cup of each that's needed. So you can also use, which I have plenty of, uh, the kaolin clay powder or arrowroot powder. So I already have those measured out. So you need a half cup of each. So like I said, you can use baking soda or cornstarch. And this is a, another quick and easy one. We're going to mix those in a bowl, half cup of each, blend them up. And when I'm done, uh, similar to what we did with our carpet deodorizer, I'm going to put it in a mason jar and just punch some holes in the top for easy use and add a little scent to it. I'm going to put a couple drops of this is purification, which I like the smell of that. Uh, if you're using it in the summer, peppermint is a great uh, oil for cooling. It is really awesome if it's a really hot day or if your kids are playing sports or out in the heat. Um, take along like a cold washcloth that is damp Add a couple drops of peppermint oil to uh, the washcloth and it is a real quick pick-me-up cool down. I also like a couple drops of lavender. Lavender is such a universal oil. It has so many great properties to it and cedar wood is really good at absorbing um, Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here. Absorbing oils from the skin, but also uh, similar to the other essential oils, it's a, a great um, oil to hide odors. So there we have it. Mm, that smells nice. Um, homemade baby powder, quick and easy. The next one, uh, I've been working on this one a little bit earlier. So it is a quarter cup olive oil, quarter cup shea butter, quarter cup coconut oil, and a tablespoon of vitamin E. And oh, let me see, what do I have here? Three tablespoons of our Castile soap, similar to what we used in the foaming hand soap. And you melt those and then you let them cool in the refrigerator for like an hour or two. And mix these up. Very similar to the hand lotion that we made previously, this is going to be a shaving cream, homemade shaving cream. Um, I like the vitamin E, which is really good, especially if you have very dry skin. It helps to moisturize it. There's lots of different scents. Um, I like uh, Young Living has a, a scent called Peace and Calming. It's one of my favorites. But any kind of scent that you like. I'm going to add something a little more floral. Uh, Lang Lang is one of my favorites. Uh, we've talked before about geranium and the benefits of geranium and skin care. So this might be a little too floral. Drew might not want to use it to shave with. Um, but <laughs> I think it's going to smell lovely. And a couple drops of jasmine here. Jasmine's taking a little bit. I'm only using about 
Oh, and then lavender. That's it. It's kind of a universal go-to. Only about three drops of each of those. I'm gonna mix this up. So you can see it kind of has that nice whipped fluffy look to it. Uh, again, I, I, I should probably buy stock in um, mason jars just because I use them for everything. They're great uh, containers that come in so many different sizes. Um, I, I love them. So I'm going to put it in a mason jar and just store it in the shower um, with all of our shampoos. So there you have it. We have homemade baby powder uh, that does not have the talc or any of the asbestos that some of the um, traditional baby powders have. And homemade shaving cream with ingredients, again, that you can find at your natural food store or your local grocery store. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk soon.